All right, we try this again one more time. This is the saw from the back side. Where basically you operate it, I guess, from here. And it has rollers that goes on the track. And the saw travels down the rail. This yellow uh, metal arms with the crank handle on it. That's on the right side of the saw. That's if you're standing behind the saw. And there's one identical without the crank handle on the left side. There's one towards the beginning of the rail and there is one towards the end of the rail. If you notice, the one with the crank handle, which is both on the right side, they are telescopic, so they travel back and forth and adjust to the size of the log. As the saw travels, of course, this is without the, uh, I guess, the cover and the belt or the, the, the saw blade, which is a belt blade, is off the track or the wheels that turns it. Um, so the saw travels forward and it starts slicing the board the out of the log. Now, if you notice, the dogs on the right side of the saw, which they're telescopic and they slide back and forth, can be any, uh, it can be positioned in any, I guess, part of the rail, depends on the size of the log. However, when you look on this side, it's fixed and it is basically welded just about half an inch too far to the left of the saw, which in this picture would be right. That, oh, I'm sorry, to the right side of the saw. In other words, closer to the tree trunk as the, you see it in the picture, more away from the rail. I wouldn't lose my fingers. Now, the reason the whole thing started was the saw was traveling and these dogs were up, a little bit up higher than they are now. And what happened was he ends up uh, getting, hitting this uh, tensioner or a blade location uh, adjustment or whatever else it might do, uh, but that's what I think it does. It adjusts and keeps the blade on the wheels. And anyhow, there's one on either side, one on here and one on the other side right there. And um, so this yellow arm, which they, as I said, they call it dogs, would it, it head there. Uh, blade guide, whatever that thing is, there. And the saw stopped, and I went on the other side, uh, which is where the handle, cranking handle is. And the saw was, uh, I forget, it got stuck on the first dogs or the one towards the end. I believe it was the one towards the end. However, I reached to crank that crank handle and unfortunately there was another issue. The mouth of the cover which travels with the saw, I'll show it to you, it's off now. It is sitting here. This opening, let's see if I can get a good picture. This opening here is always open so if you have an eight inch diameter uh, trunk uh, tree trunk uh, the more opening on either side of the tree 
uh, or the saw, or yeah, like basically on either side of the tree, that hand or anything, can, any object can get in there. Um, so in this case, I reached to crank the handle to loosen and lower in the, the dogs so it, it free up from the, um, yeah, the saw free up basically and travel. And I am not sure if the saw came forward or I did not realize the, uh, or they couldn't see the saw because of the fast moving, the blade itself I'm talking about. And I reached in there to crank this handle and that's when I lost my fingers. I hope uh, this will uh, give you enough information. I took a couple videos before, but I wasn't successful uh, to <laughs> I email it or attach it. I couldn't figure out what the heck was going on. Anyhow, if you like, I can pause it and put the cover on so you can get an idea. All right, I tried to put it on, but uh, I don't know if I could, uh, if I was doing it right or not, but as you see, it's not on properly. I really don't like to even touch the saw or come near it. <laughs> It, it's got a very, very bad, uh, uh, just it kind of brings memory back and it's, it was scary. And anyhow, uh, there is the model number, the saw, and if you need anything else, please contact me and let me know, and I hope I'll be able to provide it for you. Thanks.